Shrouded in early morning fog, there is a small spit of land tucked away in a remote corner of Northern California. This is where the Klamath River meets the Pacific. Working these waters are members of the Yurok tribe, descendants of the indigenous people who thrived in this part of the world over 8,000 years ago. Since daybreak, they have been preparing their nets and traps waiting for the salmon to begin their upstream migration to the spawning grounds of their birth. After hours of waiting, the Yurok fishermen sense that something is wrong. Something is keeping the salmon from coming home. Even the sea lions and gulls are becoming impatient. Pacing the shore is Raymond Matz. He's a tribal elder who's fished these waters since he was a boy. Today, he's concerned about the state of the local fishery. It's really hard on the native people here. I was born and raised on this river, and I fought for the fishing rights here. And I seen this river, a lot of things happen in this river, a lot of things. Once, not so very long ago, vast stands of ponderosa and redwood forests surrounded the Klamath River. Its crystal clear waters helped make this the third richest salmon river in the country. Its bounty sustained the indigenous people who fished along these shores. And until the early 1900s, this was a healthy ecosystem in balance with nature. But then government agencies started to reshape the Klamath watershed. Forests were clear cut and wetland ecosystems were destroyed. A series of dams were built to generate electricity and to divert enormous amounts of water to help tens of thousands of homesteading farmers irrigate their land. For decades, there was barely enough water for agriculture and the salmon. Then, in 2001, an historic two-year drought hit the Pacific Northwest with a vengeance. There was no longer enough water to satisfy everyone's needs. White man's the only species being considered. Suddenly, anger and frustration broke out as farmers and Native American fishermen battled over water rights. It soon became a political issue. There's a balance that needs to be reached, and the federal government is ignoring our needs. Ultimately, the federal government made a decision. My pain? My pain is right here, my babies. My baby's pain, not being able to go out and fish. The indigenous tribes lost the fight. The farmers got the water, and the Klamath River was reduced to a trickle. On the morning of September 19, 2002, though there was very little water in the river, the salmon started their spawning migration. Within hours, suffocating in water sapped of oxygen, the fish started to struggle. Then they started to die. Soon, hundreds of salmon lined the shores. Day after day, they kept washing up. Three days later, as many as 80,000 fish were dead. It was one of the largest salmon die-offs in American history. That was then. This is now. After hours of waiting, the Yurok fishermen finally net a spawning salmon. But this is one fish that won't end up on their dinner table. Instead, 
it is quickly turned over to a team of biologists. We're conducting a study of adult Chinook salmon migration in the Klamath River watershed. And what we're trying to do essentially is to describe their migration patterns and understand what's driving those patterns, especially in terms of the temperature and flow of the river. Their immediate objective is to measure, tag, and take DNA samples of the salmon and then get it back into the river before it dies. It's kind of like a two-minute drill in uh, NFL. We're trying to really move it along, and keep it under two minutes from the time that we get the fish to the bank to the time we let it go. They tell me if the dams are out and we get three inches of water, this river will come back to life the way it was in the early uh, hundreds. I ain't really got any words for it anymore, you know. I've been fighting and fighting here, and it's getting where it's... <laughs> I don't know, we got to do something about it. I love this river. I love being here. I like to see my grandkids grow up and see what i seen. I'd like to see it before my time. <laughs>